Hello everyone and welcome to a Premier League Prediction 5 week 4 24-24-25 season and just let me go through the, the games and predictions for this game week and I'll talk about what happened last game week as well so let's get on with the video first game to predict is the half 12 game between Southampton and Manchester United Southampton haven't started the season well. They have they've only scored one goal, conceded a lot to more, and, it, and most of the goals they've conceded so, so far in the league are just playing out from the back and just if they don't if you don't have if you don't have the players to play out from the back, just don't play out the back at all. Meanwhile, Man United haven't had a great start to the season. As well, they got spanked by their local rivals, Liverpool, the other day, 3 0. And the game before the they they lost to Brighton in the last minute, and then they were lucky enough to win against Fulham. But in this game alone, in this game alone, I just think United will just scrape it 2 1, be a Probably a late penalty, I'm going to say. Still won by. Next game is between Brighton and Ipswich Town. Brighton are having a wonderful start to the season. Seven points in a day. You told them that start before the end of the season, they would have snapped your hand off for that. Uh, good start. Ipswich, their season basically started the last game because the first two games they had were against Liverpool and Man City they were free hits that, no, those are the games that are not going to define this season it's these sort of games that are going to define their season but they did pick up their first point the last game against Fulham but in this game uh, I think Brighton will just win to one well, not probably say they might win more complicated but Ipswich, I could see Ipswich giving Brighton the game but I just think Right the home, they'll just edge it 2 1. Next game is between Crystal Palace and Leicester City. Palace haven't, they haven't started the season well, but they did get a decent point away at Chelsea the last game week. Leicester, well, they had great news over the international play. They won't be getting the points reduction now, so that's great for them, but. You would still worry about the about the group, even though they're not getting the point reduction there. Palace have a the transfer window has probably been a bit of distraction for that's why I don't think they start the season well. But the windows close now, I think they'll and they will help them now. In this game alone, I just see Crystal Palace just winning this comfortably 2 0, which is my prediction. The next game is between Fulham and West Ham. Fulham, definitely okay-ish start to the season. Okay, they lost to United, which I think they should have got a draw at least. They bet Leicester, and then they threw them and switch away last game week. So they've all right start. West Ham, I don't know, uh, they brought in a lot of new players. They still haven't gelled, and that's why they're probably struggling a little bit. But they did have what they do have one win so far, and they're a loss of the against Villa, of course, Man City, like who anyone anyone can lose. It's not easy beating Man City these days. In this game alone, I could see this being a title fair, and that's why I'm going to predict a 1 1 draw. The next game is my team, Liverpool against the Hutton Forest. Liverpool, seven goals, zero conceded, nine point. What a great start for Liverpool and for the new manager as well. Forest you not know, had a bad start to the season well. Five points out of nine. I think they've been took a nap before a ball, ball kick for the first three games. But in this game, I expect only one outcome. 3-0, it'll be a comfortable afternoon. For the next game, Man City against Brentford. Let's just get up, get to the point. Man City are going to win this 3-0. They've had a good start to the season. Um, Haaland is just a freak. We just all know that. He's just, he's just not human. 
Uh, Brentford, they've had a good start to the season. So six points out of nine, lost to Liverpool. Well, they did the bit Southampton contribute, but Southampton gave them a helping hand then. But it's going to be three now. Man City, Brentford to take it personally. Mm. Aston Villa against Everton. Villa have an all right start to the season. They lost to Arthur, but they actually played well in that game. Just didn't take their chances. But they bet their local rivals, Leicester, which was a good enough win for them. And so far, an all right start for them. Everton in the meanwhile have had a horrendous start. Their last game week, they were 2 0 up against Bournemouth in the 87 minute, and they managed to lose the game 3 2. That is such an Everton thing to do. No other club would do that apart from Everton. Everton are just, they're just not great. They're having problems off the pitch and on the pitch, and the defence is just all over the place at the moment. In this game as well, Everton are going to be in for a long afternoon. And it depends if Ollie Watkins, he's rumoured he's not injured, not going to be in for this game. But I'm going to predict he, I'm going to presume he will be fit enough for this game. And that's why I'm going to predict 4 0 to Aston Villa, which, yeah, not a good look for Everton. Bournemouth versus Chelsea. Bournemouth had an all right start to the season, picked up five points. Uh, they should have bet New Capital for a dodgy far decision. Dodgy fire. They lost bet Everton. You know, with just the same before because Everton are just Everton and they threw the forest in the opening day. Chelsea, the middle hand, are just, are just one of those funny out to have all the players that transfer the tension off the pitch and then on the pitch. Like they beat Wolves 6 2 one week and then they drew the Palace. So they're just an up and down team. You don't know, you just don't know what you're going to get from Chelsea. One week they could be good. The next week they could be rubbish. But in this game, I just fancy Bournemouth to nick it 2 1. Now, probably the biggest game of the weekend is between Tottenham and Arsenal. And it's an off London derby. Tottenham, I don't think they wouldn't be happy with their start of the season. They threw with Leicester. They bet Everton. Everyone could beat Everton. And then they lost to Newcastle, which. So I don't think they'd be happy enough with this season. But Solanke is going to be injured, so that'd be a big loss to them, goal wise. Meanwhile, Arsenal had an all right start, all right start to it, apart from the last game against uh, Brighton, which they drew one one, and then Lady Rice got sent off. I don't care what people say. So, so he didn't deserve to get sent off, but he was on a yellow card at the time. I don't care. You stick to the rules of football. You were told at the start of the season, you don't. If you don't apply to this rule, you get consequences towards it. Uh, but in this game, but Arsenal are having a few midfield problems. Rice is always suspended. I know the guy got injured during the international break, so they're have the, they're going to have a problem in midfield in this game at all. I actually can see could be a very. I'm actually going to go for a two-two draw. Now, next game between Wolves and Newcastle. Wolves got a point in the last game, but I don't think they would be overly pleased with the start overall they had. Newcastle will be reasonably happy. They haven't played well in some of the games, but they've got the results. They're just taking their chances really well. In this game, I can just see Wolves... No, I can see Newcastle one of them quite comfortably in the end so i'm going to say 3-1 newcastle thank you so that's my prediction for this week thank you so much for watching this video i hope we'll see you for another primary prediction video very soon for now for now goodbye